Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Probably in focus, maybe not. Welcome to a new series. Why the heck is there a scooter in a tree? How's that even getting there? Anyway, I'm gonna call this short photography, little photography moments, short photography elements, one photo in a short amount of time. And I was like, why don't I just get out, film some really short videos, whack them up. Here we are, I'm in Sheffield. Down at a patch which you might have seen in episode 10 of 10 meter walks. And basically, I wanted to get a photo of the light coming through the trees, but as you can see, the light's already pretty much gone. So it was just all golden about half an hour ago. There's some nice mushrooms, that could be my photo. And just maybe just one or two photos of what I can get in that short period of time. I'm not a photographer, I'm more of a filmmaker, but um, I think it's important to come at filmmaking with a photographic eye. I think that really helps set your stuff apart from others. I'm, I'm looking at a train station right here, so it would be really cool to get a wildlife shot with the train behind, a nice urban thing going on. Mushroom and train, has anyone put that in a picture before? Mushroom and train. So here are the mushrooms, they're here, and you can see that the train station is, is behind there, but I don't think I'm going to get one with the train in because the, the land's lower. Although I have seen over here, the river looks really nice catching the light really well just as the light's going down maybe a long exposure shot with something in so I'll go and have a little look let's see what we got mm, lovely that I like this log if I had long exposure stuff this could be really nice as the lights dropping taking advantage of that and it also looks very lovely down the river here I'm feeling like a long exposure shot might go down quite nicely if I can come at this from a certain angle come from down here you can see get a shot down the river there with that log in the foreground oh i really hope i haven't forgotten my nd filter i do have it in here got my it's not sponsored or anything as if all right here we go let's crack this bad boy on get this. i can't even screw it on am i just f***ing the lens up sorry that's bad language no i don't have anything on there why is this not screwing on Absolute cretin. Here, yeah, you're getting some real behind the scenes content of how what it's like to righty tighty, lefty loosey. The struggle is real, everyone. Why am I recording all this? Yeah, this is definitely not an ad, otherwise they would not sell any of their product. I've just got my feet soaked. We're gonna get this log in. There's my position. I'm not even sure if that's right, but my feet are wet. It's just all going a bit wrong, really. I'm doing this all on my phone. Oh, high production value. It actually looks pretty nice. So with a long exposure, you absolutely have to be on the tripod. F10, so you want the aperture quite high. I could probably go higher. Two, this is, that was a two second and it made it quite silky. I could go a little bit higher than that. Two second exposure. And I got it on a timer because you don't want your hand to wobble the, the thing. Let's have another crack and I'll probably pop it up a little bit to a four seconder and then pop the exposure up to balance it out. You can see here, that's the, uh, compensation or whatever you want to call it so that is about you want that about zero slightly underexposing it's probably a little bit wiser let's give it a crack two seconds and my gh5 takes a moment to process it yeah nice turned out when i came to edit it that the five second exposure actually blurred the log and some of the twig uh, that was in the shot if you look really really closely so I decided in the end that the two second exposure was the better one because I didn't need the water any more blurred than it already was. All right, everyone, so that went pretty okay, I think. I don't really know till I've edited the photos. Do let me know if you want to see edit process in these as well, because I can, I can put that in. It would be a bit more effort. I do kind of want to keep these quick. What I'm trying to do with this, with these series, is look at these things a little bit differently. Um, and I didn't really look at that differently. I looked at it like, oh, a nice log in a river catching the water um, and took a, a river scape. And then suddenly I thought, well, what's the interesting thing here? It's the log. So why don't I just focus on the log and trying to get some super long exposure shots of that, uh, of just the log looking almost top down. And they came out pretty nicely. They uh, are slightly weird compositionally. It's a bit sort of central. I didn't really know what to do with it there. And then the second one was just a spur of the moment thing. Why don't I just try and 
grab a shot of the train going past Three, and make a sort of like ghost train effect one, across the platform. Again, like I think it was a pretty cool idea, but I don't think it was, it came out quite very well. It's compositionally again, quite bizarre, but that's what I'm trying to do. Just like experiment, do something slightly differently. Yeah, let me know what you think. Might come back to the same spot tomorrow. See if we can get any wildlife. It just was a bit too dark. So I'll leave you with the photos. Tree.